the truth of the matter is that there were complaints by the, some of the aspirants. They said, initially, they said 153 names were altered in the delegate list. After the appeal committee sat and did some amendment, they said it has been, it is now 60 names that were tampered with according to them, the aspirants. But they are not the ones who conducted the Congress. Those who con conducted the Congress are the ones who can tell you what the list is. And they submitted their report to the um, headquarters of the party. But so let's go to the results. I pulled that, it, number one, non, nobody will come and tell you that the process or the election proper is not transparent. It's the is the fairest and most transparent primaries ever conducted in Kogi State. And INEC adjudged to that yesterday. So what I'm saying in essence is that I pulled 313 votes. The next person who came second pulled 124 votes. So even if you go by their complaint of 60 names added, deduct 60 from 313, I will, I will, I will still win. Deduct even the 153 before they claim there was a correction from my vote, I will still win. He, my brother, uh, 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 the former deputy governor, scored 77 votes. Take the 150, add the 60, and still add to his votes. He still will not measure up to the number of votes I have. So the truth of the matter is that it is clear. I scored 313. The man who came second scored 124. The man who came third scored 121 before Yomiawoni scored 77. Well, we kept quiet because we will not make noise. We will not, um, the truth will always be the truth. And we went to the contest and the winner has emerged. And my, 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 my appeal is that we all are brothers. We all are in the business of salvaging Kogi states from the economic cankerworm and financial scavenger called the Ayabelo. Today, our focus is to make sure that we bring back the long lost reputation of Kogi states. Anywhere you go in this country today, you say, I'm from Kogi state. The next thing is, ah, that Ayabelo state. So that we want to correct that. The PDP want to correct that. So I'm going to work with my brothers all the co-aspirants. Have you reached out to them? Yes, yes. I've, 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 because the agitation... I've met, I've met um, five out of seven. Because, I mean, the words... The, these are the words of the aspirants and your opponents in that primary. They said, in fact, the election has been rigged before the election, the primary held on Sunday, that, in fact, the list was concocted and I, was a fraudulent list. I just told you now that in their own complaint, in the first instance, they allege... 153 names that were added to the list. No, where 153 names were replaced. They, that's their complaint to the appeal. After the appeal again submitted their report, they said it has been reduced now to 60. And I'm not telling you that the margin of win between 313 and 124 is two times more than the number they are even asking that, I mean, allegedly, they are saying was replaced. So what I'm saying is that I scored the majority lawful votes in that election. And I, I have close to half of the total uh, vote cast in the election, while about um, seven people shared the, 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 the half. Mm. But we're talking about sharing, mm. there were allegations also that uh, there were a lot of monies that exchanged hands in that election. Who bankrolled you? Anyway, I'm not um, a staff of the EFCC or ICPC. I wouldn't know if there was money planned. But the issue, if at my level I cannot finance a primary, then, then there's a problem somewhere. But definitely, um, God bank ruled me. I bank with the Almighty God. I mean, so in all of these that we hear uh, that happened in and around before the primary, a lot of monies were being given to delegates. How much did you give to your own delegates? I gave them anointing oil. For, for, for mobilization. I gave them anointing oil and it did the magic. 
That's what well, you did. Yeah. I, I, I just told you that um, I believe in Philip chapter 4, verse 19, that God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And I'm telling you that he did it.